Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. I'll be going through with you guys what I got in my June Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is Ipsy's $25 a month a subscription service. We get five full-size products and a pretty bag in each glam bag. I know I haven't been posting as much lately and in my last video I explained a little bit why. It's been really hard to find time to film when everything around us is so chaotic. But I'm hoping to be able to film a couple of declutters soon so stay tuned for those. This month's theme is Ipsy Make Waves. The card says summer is more than a season. It's a state of mind. You deserve to rock that neon liner, swipe that bright gloss and go full on bold for you. Break your beauty rut and create a splash. Once again, we did not get a card with any description on the product. So I'll be checking Ipsy's website for more information on each product that I did get. But let's see what I got in my June's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. The first product I got is from a brand that I've been getting a lot of products in my subscription boxes. This is Ciade London and this is their Marbled Metals eyeshadow in the shade Entwine. The information on the website says, Consider this glittery shadow pot your one-stop shop for creating tons of eye-catching looks. The powdered cream formula coats eyes in metallic light pink pigments. They'll never fade, crease, or dry out. The color payoff is extreme, but the application process is effortless. Just use your fingers to sweep or tap the velvety color across your lids, and that's it. This is a full size item just like all five products in this bag and it is valued at $24. Let's see what the shade is like. And here is that shade Entwined. And this reminds me of slightly of those L'Oreal 24 hour waterproof eyeshadow pots. Um, I'm going to swatch it for you guys and see what the shade is like. And here is that shade Entwined. It is really neutral. I think this will be perfect for everyday looks. Excuse me for all those puppy scrapes on my hand. But it does look like a pretty everyday shade. I'm sure I'll get some use out of it. But yeah, this uh, kind of texture feels exactly like those L'Oreal pots. So I'm sure I'll get some use out of this one. The next product is from a brand that I'm previously unfamiliar with. This is from the brand Anacithic. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is their Fresh Herb Eye Cream. The information on the website says give your delicate eye area the TLC it deserves with this multitasking eye cream. Dealing with unwanted under eye baggage, this cream's airy texture cools and suits on contact, deep laid puffiness and swelling. Fake awake with niacinamide, the trendy skin brightening ingredient fades dark circles and shadows to make it look like you slept the full eight even when you're running on empty. Hyaluronic acid draws moisture from the air to your skin to help plump fine lines and crepiness. Perfect for smoothing your skin pre-makeup application. This clean cream is free of nasties and potential skin irritants such as parabens, sulfates, alcohol, mineral oil, and artificial fragrance. This is, again, a full-size item valued at $30. Now, in general, I do really like eye creams and I'm always excited to try new ones. The box says that it has calendula, which sounds good to me. I think most of these um, ingredients sound really good to me, and I'm glad there's no alcohol in it. So I'll definitely put this into use and let you guys know what I think. The next item I got is from a brand that I have heard of, but I've never actually tried anything from. This is from House Laboratories, and I believe this is Lady Gaga's brand. The product is the Le Riot Lip Gloss in the shade Corset. The information on the website says, uh, created by Lady Gaga herself, this hydrating lip gloss makes a serious statement. Whether you wear it alone or layered over your favorite lip color, light reflecting pearl pigments give lips mirror-like shine without feeling gooey or sticky. No need to swatch and swipe like crazy to find your perfect shade. Uh, this universally flattering neutral peach color looks gorgeous on all skin tones. Again, another full-size item valued at $18. The information also says that this brand House Laboratories is founded by Lady Gaga and its mission is to spread kindness, bravery and creativity by providing tools for self-expression and reinvention. Now all of these things sound good. Um, I don't know. I don't. I have a pretty neutral opinion on 
um, kind of celebrity makeup lines. Some of them are pretty good. Some are not so great. I haven't really heard that much about house laboratories. It just hasn't sparked my interest before, but I'll definitely try this one out. Let's see the shade. And here is that shade. It looks really pretty. I think it's a little bit like Rihanna's Fenty Gloss Balm, but there's no sparkle in this one. I'm sure I'll get some use out of this. I'm excited to try how hydrating this is because I have dry lips and I really appreciate any sort of hydrating lip product. But I'll put this into use and let you guys know. The next item I got is from Bliss and this looks like a really interesting product. Now this is their Oh My Gomage Cleansing Stick. This is valued at $15 and the website says cleansing and exfoliating are arguably the most important steps when it comes to glowy skin. Luckily, this multitasking stick combines both in one easy step. This multitasker is safe for all skin types. The gentle milky formula nourishes the skin to minimize redness and irritation while quickly removing makeup, dirt and excess oil. Non-abrasive plant-based exfoliants get rid of dulling dead skin cells to refresh and resurface your skin. Hello Glow! No check back, no problem. This TSA friendly cleanser comes in a solid spill proof stick that's basically made for your carry on. Now this does look like an interesting product. I don't know how I feel about kind of stick formed uh, skincare, but I do like the fact that you can take this in your carry on since it's not a liquid one. So hopefully eventually I'll get to travel and then I can put this into use. If I'm being completely honest, kind of stick form things always make me feel like this part will get super dirty. I don't know if you guys use these kind of things. Do you clean the stick afterwards? Uh, doesn't that waste kind of the product? I don't know, but I'll put this into use and let you guys know what I think. Each month, Ipsy lets us choose one product. I think that's great because then we know we're getting one that we wanted. And this month, I chose something from Tula Skincare. This is their Protect Plus Glow Daily Sunscreen with SPF 30, and it's a gel form. The information says daily sunscreen, it's the most important step in your skincare routine, especially in the summer, which is why you won't catch us without this glow boosting SPF 30. The days of sunscreen that feels thick and chalky, they're over. This gel is totally weightless and leaves skin with a subtle sheen. It helps protect you from more than just damaging UV rays. Wild butterfly ginger root shields skin from harmful effects of the blue light. Think inflammation and accelerated aging. Sun care meets skin care in this multitasking formula. It's infused with probiotics and pineapple and papaya extracts to hydrate and brighten your skin with continued use. This is a 50 milliliter product, full size, valued at $36. Now, I use sunscreen every day, summer, winter. I have really fair skin. I get freckles easily and my skin also burns. So I'm happy when I get products with SPF because I know I'll use them. One thing to notice about this product, if you did get this, it is expiring in February. So maybe put it into use right away. But I'm curious about that glow boosting kind of sheer color that comes out of it. Let's open it and see. Now I used some of it on my hand and like you see, there's no white cast whatsoever. There is the faintest glow. I left a little bit of a thick part. It is very lightweight. It doesn't feel sticky. It is very comfortable. And the glow I feel like is quite subtle, which for me is a good sign. I definitely don't want a glitter bomb on my face. So I'm excited about this. I'll definitely put this into use and let you guys know what I think. Now, besides the usual products, Ipsy lets us uh, purchase add-on products. There's $3 samples and then there's $12 or $16 full-sized items. So this time I picked one uh, $3 sample. This is from Mael, I want to say. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is their Clearly Brilliant Tinted Lips in the shade Nectar. The information says if you like your lip color to be low maintenance, then this creamy crayon is about to be your new makeup MVP. Just swipe it on and go. The sheer peachy tint goes on without a mirror or any fuss. The moisturizing formula feels soft and cushiony on lips without feeling sticky or tacky. It is free of many potentially harmful ingredients like parabens, synthetic fragrance, mineral oil, and talc. Like I said, this is a sample size product and it was $3. Let's see what the shade is like. 
And here is that swatch. It is really pretty shade. It looks like your perfect everyday shade. I'm really excited to use this one. It, this seems like something that I could easily just like it said on the information swipe on and go. Um, I do really appreciate these kind of everyday products because let's face it, I'm never going to go to work wearing like a dramatic lip color so these kind of products are usually perfect for me so i'll put this into use and let you guys know but i'm excited to try it out ipsy also lets us review products on their website so if you get your glam bag after you've received it you can review products and then you get points these points add up and then you can use it on ipsy's uh, kind of shop to redeem for different products and it is totally worth it to every time review because you will see that you can purchase different kind of products from Ipsy's Redeem Shop all the time. Now this time I did spend some of my points and I got this palette from The Balm. This is their Meet Matte Trimoni. And I feel like I've heard really good things about this. And in general, I do love The Balm. So I figured I'd give this one a try. Now let's see what the shades are like. And here are the shades. These are like your perfect matte neutral shades. And like I said, I've heard good things about this formula. So I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of this. This feels perfect, for example, if you use that. And then this um, marble metals that I got from Ciade London. These seems like a good combination for this kind of everyday look with a little added sparkle. So I'm really happy with my points purchase. And like I said, if you are subscribed to Ipsy, don't forget to review all your products so you can use your points to get products like this. The bag this month is also super cute. I love this kind of summer sunbathers and I do really like the little green bag as well. Now last month our plus bag was actually smaller than our regular Ipsy Glam bag and this month they're exactly the same size. These go as a kind of a set quite nicely. So here is the regular bag and this one is the plus bag. But I'm really happy with this bag. It looks really cute. I'll get some use out of it for sure. So this is a pretty good selection of products that I got uh, this month, these five products and also my point, points purchase and my add-on product. But there are a lot of products here that I'm really excited to use, like this Tulis SPF Glow. I think this will be perfect for me. Like I said, I tested it a little bit on my hand. It was non-sticky, super lightweight, and it did leave this kind of slight, very slight, healthy glow on my skin. I'm also excited about the eye cream. That looks like something that is right up my alley. I love using eye creams and that had some really good ingredients in it. I'm also excited to try the House Laboratories a lip gloss since I've never tried anything from that brand and I'm always excited to try items from new brands. I'm also really happy about my add-on product. That looks so pretty and I want to use that as soon as possible. I'll probably put it on tomorrow. Oh, don't steal that. Don't steal those. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that interruption. But yes, this uh, add-on product, it seems like perfect for me. The shade is so pretty and I really like the formula so far. I, I'm excited to use that one. And like I said, I love the balm products and that looks like it would be perfect for everyday use in addition to like singles that are glittery or metallic like this one. So all in all, I'm really happy with the June Ipsy Glam Back Plus. Now I calculated a combined value for these five products and it is $123, which I think is pretty good for a $25 bag. I mean, some of these products, like this one, I would never pay the suggested retail price for it. But still, when I look at all these together, I think these are totally worth the $25 that I paid, plus the $3 for uh, the sample. If you're subscribed to Ipsy, please let us know what you got in your June Ipsy Glam Back Plus and if that bag felt like it was worth for you. Because I know we get different products and sometimes our preferences are different and we value different things. So what this one that was worth the $25 for me might not be worth that for you. So I'm curious to know what you got and if you felt like it was worth it. 
But thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you subscribe. And if you like this video and want to see more of its kind, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.